Just a quick video for you here today as I'm finishing up on this trouble call. We had the sideline open here. Man, that was a long walk. Anyhow, we got her all closed in. As I was removing the door to refuse it, it reminded me of something that I wanted to show you guys to watch out for when you're refusing cutouts. So you get to the trouble call and the fuse is blown. Using the extendo stick, first thing you do is remove the door. You then find the problem, make repairs if necessary, refuse the cutout door, and once you get permission from dispatch, close it back in. Boom, Bob's your uncle, everybody goes home. But one of these days when you least expect it, here's what could happen. You're all the way down here, that cutout is all the way up there. It can be hard to see, especially at night. So here's your blown cutout. Fuse is blown, top lead is live, bottom lead is isolated. When that fuse blows, the entire length of that barrel that contains the fuse length comes flying out. Sometimes it's sitting here, sometimes it's sitting here, and sometimes it's all tangled up inside the cutout. Either way, the fuse length that comes out of that cutout door is long, and it could almost reach the top of that cutout. So one of these days, if you're not careful, you're using your stick, lifting out that cutout door, you're lifting up, guess where that tail just went? You just bridged that cutout. So she's gonna arc. If for some reason you can see from the ground that that fuse link is sticking up in the air, using your long stick, you can easily pull it down. Then you can remove your cutout door much safer. Another thing is, as you're removing the door, as soon as it clears that jaw, pull it out off the side and down. Don't be lifting it way up here as you're pulling it out. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for lots more upcoming videos. Work safe, and we'll see you next time.